Hi, how you doing? My name is Daniel Cilio. I'm a exercise science grad student here at the Strasbourg University. And uh, in the future, I plan on working as a health fitness specialist. For After grad school, we finish in about May 25th, 26th. I'm starting my internship right after that, and I'm actually working at a performance center in Whippany. I'll be working with professional athletes and Olympians, um, training with them, giving them regimens, um, shadowing, working with all the new equipment, all different sports, so that'd actually be really cool as well. The exercise movement that I'll be explaining today is the shoulder press, which is one of the bigger movements for all of weightlifters, whether you're doing um, an upper body split, um, a chest and, chest and back, chest and shoulders, a push-pull split, no matter what. Um, obviously, you work on this to improve other movements such as um, a push press, such as a hand clean, all their movements like that. cool thing about a shoulder press is that there's a lot to do with it. You could do it single arm, you could do it sitting, standing, low weight, high weight, high reps, low weight, late weight, depending on what you're trying to do. You could use bands for physical therapy. Um, you could also do a lot of things to strengthen the movement as well and, and incorporate other exercises to help with your shoulder gains, such as um, doing band work, inter, uh, internal external rotation for the rotator cuff, anything to strengthen that as well so that that doesn't get hurt. Another thing about the shoulder press is that it focuses um, dominantly on the anterior deltoid, and also along with that, there's a lot of other exercises out there that actually help with the anterior deltoid, um, including a push press, a high pull, um, which is cool because there's a lot of other exercise out there that not directly will strengthen and help with um, shoulder press strength and will assist you to get um, a higher weight. Um, another thing about that is there are a lot of um, muscles that assist with the shoulder press such as the uh, triceps, uh, the traps, and the pectoralis major or minor, I believe. The last quick thing I have to say about the shoulder the shoulder press and the shoulder joint in general is that it is a very, um, it's a very important joint in that even if you're doing bodybuilding splits or if you're doing um, strength training for a strength competition, um, even doing Olympic lifts all have to do with the shoulders, whether it's a snatch, a hand clean, a push press, anything really has to do with shoulder mobility. And um, honestly, that's why it's a big factor in having injuries. There's a lot of ways you can prevent those injuries. But So the athlete that I'm going to be using to demonstrate this movement is Joe. And Joe suffers with impingement, so we're keeping the light weight. And another thing that's very um, crucial for shoulder workouts is to demonstrate a good um, warm-up. To properly warm up the shoulder, the best thing to do for the rotator cuff is to do internal and external rotations, which he is demonstrating right now. Along with that, it's best to do a few warm-up sets of either no weight or very low weight just to get the shoulder warm. So to start the exercise, obviously you're gonna start off the first set with some slow slow reps with low weights. Um, what you're really gonna look for is that he keeps the core tight, that he keeps his elbows parallel, don't go below where his elbows should be. Uh, drive your elbows up, don't fully uh, extend his arms as well. So obviously this athlete's performing this exercise standing. You could also do the seating, but from the side angle, you wanna make sure that his arms aren't going backwards or forwards, which could also um, lead to rotator cuff injuries. Now for the shoulder press, this exercise you do before all the accessory other exercises for the shoulders. And for shoulder press, you could do anywhere from three to five sets um, of eight to 12 reps if you're looking for hypertrophy. Anything above that is muscle endurance. Uh, anything below eight reps is mostly for strength. I wouldn't go under six reps for strength either because the shoulder is a very important joint and it can be injured um, very easily, whether it be impingement, whether it be um, dislocations or anything like that. So I would not go heavier weight and low rep, anything under six uh, reps. The last quick thing, just a little recap about the shoulder press. It's used by a lot of people. It is a prime, a prime exercise. It is a very, uh, really good uh, compound movement for the shoulders. Uh, you could pick it up and try it even if you haven't done it for a while if you're a first time lifter um, just do the the lower weights the higher reps just get your the form down is very important keep the um, the core very tight uh, make sure you watch where your arms are going don't let it go back obviously come down to par parallel the shoulder press is also very important 
abhorrent for other uh, movements such as the hand clean, as other Olympic movements such as a snatch. Um, it's very incorporated into other exercises, and that being said, a lot of the other exercises are incorporated with that, with the shoulder, to make it stronger, including a high pull, a single arm push up, shoulder press, and even movements of like lateral raises and stuff like that all help the shoulder press in general, along with tricep strength.